Welcome back to Cuisines and Cocktails. Today we're going to be all about braising and bourbons. To start out, we're going to make a ginger lime simple syrup. And to do this, we're going to need equal parts of white sugar and water. We're going to bring it to a boil. We're going to add some powdered, powdered ginger. And we're going to add some lime. If you uh, press down and roll the lime, you break down the fibers inside the lime and it makes it a little bit easier to squeeze out oh, the juice. And you can add the whole lime to it because you'll get the oils from the zest into the simple syrup. So we're gonna let that simmer for a little bit, maybe one or two minutes, and then we'll take it off the heat, let it cool down, and then we can finish our cocktail. Meanwhile, because we have the oven at 415 and the rest of everything else besides the puff pastry, we need at a lower temperature. I'm gonna get working on that too right away. So we're gonna make volivants, and volivants are basically little pegages. So we're gonna take a sheet of puff pastry that we've thawed out, and we're gonna cut into fours. And this is where it gets kind of a cool thing. You cut about half inch in from the edge on two, on one, from one corner down two sides on opposite corners. And then we're going to take the one side, flip it over, flip the other side, flip it over if that made any sense. And you have this kind of square box that when it puffs up, you're gonna have multiple layers that we can take the center out and have a nice vessel for our braised beef tips. And we're gonna brush it with a little bit of egg wash. Just scramble an egg and if you have a pastry brush, you can brush it with a pastry brush, or you can use your fingers. It's all good. You want to get the sides and give it a nice sheen when it's done baking. And we'll do two real quick, just to have enough for the amount of beef tips that we're going to do. I like to do other variations. You know, most people get noodles or mashed potatoes or sometimes risotto with braised beef and Sometimes it's nice to do something not expected. And I think a volivant fits that bill. Okay, so now we have two volivants. We're gonna stick them in the oven for about 15 minutes and they'll get nice and puffy and golden brown. Okay. So our simple syrup has been simmering for a little few minutes, but because we want to make our cocktail, we're going to strain it through some ice to chill it so our cocktail doesn't get watered down. This is a good tip if you have anything that you need chilled before you use it. Okay, so for the cocktail, we're making a, a lime ginger bourbon press. So we're gonna do two ounces of bourbon. And for the press, we're gonna use our simple syrup, which is basically like a soda comp concoction. Then we're going to put a glass, give it a slight tap. Chill it up. And we can strain it into a clean glass. If you want to garnish, you can do a ribbon of lime or a marchino cherry um, or cheers. Okay, so next we can start working on the bourbon braised beef tips. And we're also gonna start working on the grits of the shrimp and grits appetizer so the grits can cook and get nice and smooth and creamy when we need them.
Now we have the cooked puff pastries, just pulled them out of the oven. About 15 minutes, they got nice and golden brown. And what we can do now is take a, a paring knife, cut around the edges. And this is going to be the cover to top bourbon braised beef tips. And don't be afraid. I, I think the biggest mistake most people make when using puff pastry is they don't let it cook long enough. Make sure it gets nice and crispy and firm and dark golden brown. Don't underbake it. Okay, now we can start with our bourbon braised uh, beef tenderloin. And it's pretty simple. We're gonna start with getting some butter melted. And we're gonna add a little bit of oil just to increase the cooking temperature of the butter, because butter is a low flash point. And then we're going to take an onion and we're going to dice it up. And we wanna to try to keep the dice as even as possible so it promotes even cooking. And we'll let the butter in the pan get nice and hot so we can actually saute. And we'll take some garlic. And if you like garlic, use a lot of garlic. If you don't like a lot of garlic, use less. You're gonna smash it. Just run through with the knife. Get a coarse mince out of it. And we already have our mushrooms quartered. And then the tenderloin, what we'll do is we'll cut into eh, half inch or so dice pieces. And once the butter is melted, we can saute everything together. All right, we're gonna start with the mushrooms since those will take the longest to saute. And we're just going to let these kind of caramelize, get some golden brown color on them. Okay, now that we have some color on the mushrooms, we can add the onions and the garlic. And just make sure that there's a little bit of oil on the bottom of the pan, just so you don't burn anything. You just want a nice caramelization, not burnt items. We'll just put a little bit of color onto the onions and the garlic, and then we'll add the tenderloin. Break it up a little bit. And we'll need a little bit of oil. And we're gonna add a little bit of salt. A little bit of pepper. If you want to make this a little bit spicier, you can add cayenne pepper, you can add some extra seasonings if you want. We're just gonna keep it kind of basic today. And you can always tweak it to how you like. That's the great adventure about cooking is there is no right way or one way to do something. You can always make it your own. Now that we've got some color on all the tenderloin, we're just gonna add a little bit more butter and we're gonna make a roux. And a roux is a thickening agent made with flour and fat. Kind of the, the ratio is equal parts of flour and fat by weight. So we got about a tablespoon of open flour in the pan. We're just gonna basically dry up the pan with the flour. Get all those good bits on the bottom of the pan loosened up. Those are all flavor. That's called fond. Fond is a caramelized meat protein that adds great flavor to your dishes. You're gonna add a little bit of bourbon.
Let that reduce a little bit. And then we're gonna add some whole milk. We're gonna let this come to a boil. And then we're gonna throw in the oven at 350 for about 15 minutes or so. And then it'll be nice cooked and all brought together and the flavors are gonna be melded together and you'll have a nice braised beef tenderloin stew. That looks good. We can always adjust the seasoning. Once it comes back out, we'll taste it to finish. We're just gonna clean up the area a little bit and then we'll get all the mise en place out for the shrimp and grits and we'll finish up with the shrimp and grits and be able to plate everything up and have a little meal. Okay, so now we're gonna do the peppercorn bourbon glazed shrimp with grits. We're gonna start by making the grits. You're gonna do a little bit of water. And on kind of a low heat, just to keep it warm, kind of medium, medium low. And we're gonna add a cup of milk. and our grits. While this is simmering away, we're going to work on the peppers and onions for the shrimp portion. Again, do a nice cross the pepper to dice. This is an appetizer, so we don't need the whole pepper, but we can use it for another preparation. And we'll probably need half an onion. And you wanna, again, also keep the dices about the same as the pepper, so it all cooks evenly, so you don't have half raw onion and half overcooked onion. And we're gonna smash one clove garlic. And again, if you like, really like garlic, go nuts, have a couple more cloves. All right, then in a separate pan, we're going to get it fairly hot. A little bit of oil. And when this, the oil gets a nice shimmery surface to it, we're going to be, we'll know it's ready to start to saute the peppers and onions. And then we'll add the shrimp, add quite a bit of pepper to give it a nice spice, deglaze with some bourbon. And then by then, hopefully the grits will be nice and creamy. And we can adjust the seasoning, check out the beef tips and put it all together. Okay, now that the oil has a nice shimmer to it and it, you can tell that it's nice and hot, we can add the peppers, onions and garlic. So saute in French means to jump. So when it's really easy to move the, the product around in the saute pan, you know that the oil is hot enough and the pan is hot enough to actually give it a nice sear and lock in the juices. We're gonna probably do maybe a quarter of this shrimp. We can save the rest for the next episode. Liberal amounts of black pepper. A little bit of salt. We're gonna stir these grits one more time. We're also gonna season the grits a little bit. A little bit of salt. And a little bit of pepper. And if you like, you can add hot sauce. 
if you want. Again, cooking is about personality. Make your food taste like how you are. Okay, the shrimp look great. We had smell of vision you'd be able to smell how cool it also smells. A little bit of bourbon. So we're degling the bottom of the pan. We're gonna let this reduce. And then we're gonna finish it with a little bit of cold butter and make a sauce out of the bourbon. Okay. Finish with some butter. And you wanna, when you start to add the butter, you wanna take it off the heat or turn the heat off. Otherwise, your sauce will break. And the butter will separate out, and you don't want that. Okay. It's about time to plate up. Get some plates, beef tenderloin tips out of the oven, and get everything all ready to serve. Take our grits. Just put it in the bottom of a bowl. Take our pepper bourbon shrimp. Put it right on top. There's the appetizer. And then for the entree, and this we need to taste, because you just brought it out of the oven. See how the, night, the, the milk made a nice, thick little gravy? So we're gonna take this, collect it all on one side of the pan. Put our little tops on. So we have our two entrees for the day. We have the uh, bourbon peppercorn glazed shrimp over grits, and we have the mushroom bourbon cream glazed beef tenderloin tips in a volivant. Enjoy. Join us next time for a Mexican flavor cuisines and cocktails. I'm Chef James Jens of Dinners with Class from Wisconsin. Enjoy. Mm -hmm.